Iceland is a Nordic nation of about 400,000 people, roughly three quarters the size of Wisconsin. However, this size is changing rapidly in geologic time. Iceland is located directly on top of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and is slowly being split apart at a rate of 2.5 centimeters per year. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge separates the North American Plate from the Eurasian Plate in the Northern Hemisphere. It is a divergent boundary and the vast majority of activity happens deep in the ocean crust. Iceland is a unique place to see divergent plate movement on land and to study how it affects the island's geology. In plate tectonics, a divergent boundary occurs when rising convection currents lift the lithosphere, producing a fissure between the plates. This fissure reduces pressure on the heated mantle and a new magma flows into the gap and solidifies. This is where the new seafloor is created in the seafloor spreading process. In Iceland, this results in volcanic activity and earthquakes. Around 500 earthquakes are detected per week by Iceland's national seismic monitoring. Most of the quakes are very small tremors, small enough that humans don't even notice them. These are caused by the release of pressure from the shifting plates. The less frequent earthquakes that are larger are the result of volcanic activity on and underneath the island. Because solidifying magma fills in the space between, it will be a very long time before we see any dramatic change in the landscape. That is, until the big one, an earthquake predicted to be at least 7.0 in magnitude, eventually hits. The slow pressure buildup is released in a large quake roughly once per century, and the last large earthquake in Iceland occurred in 1912. Iceland prepares for this by developing an automatic monitoring network and alert system, as well as requiring buildings to be made to withstand seismic activity. Ideally, Iceland will be much better prepared for the inevitable earthquake than they have been in the past. For now, you can still visit the ridge in South Iceland and actually walk across the gap between plates.